Praise the Lord. This is your friend Michael Masamba. In our last class, we were looking at the blood of Jesus and it, what it accomplished for us. And in our first class, we said it paid the debt once and for all. The blood of Jesus doesn't, it doesn't do an in, in complete work. It did a complete work. Number two, we said it justified us. And number three, we did yesterday is that you have been forgiven by the blood of Jesus. Today, I want us to look at the fact that the blood of Jesus spared you from the wrath of God. It spares you from the wrath of God. That, does, that sounds like a, a, a propitiation. That in pre, pro, uh, propitiation, the blood of Jesus removes the wrath of God. The wrath of God has been removed. We are no longer under judgment. Now, you remember when God was taking, you know, when he asked Moses to prepare the children of Israel for their exit from Egypt, and when God prepared to, dest to really strike Pharaoh so that the Egyptians may release the children of Israel because God was angry with the Egyptians. His wrath was waxing hot on the Egyptians. So God told Moses, Go tell the children of Israel to slaughter a goat and let them put the blood of that goat on the doorposts of their houses so that when I come and I see the blood, I will pass by. Now, when God says I'll come, it means when his judgment comes, when the angel who comes to execute the judgment of God on rebellious nations, rebellious people who are disobedient to the ordinances and commandments and the word of God, who refuse Jesus Christ the Lord. When the judgment comes, he says, those who are covered in the blood, the angel will pass by. You get that from Exodus chapter 12 and verse 13. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. This reminds me of another scripture which says, A thousand may fall on my side. 10,000 on my other side, but no evil shall come near me. Reason? Because I am under the blood. I am under the blood. Brother Itani Madime from South Africa sings the song, I gonna stay right under the blood. I gonna stay right under the blood. I gonna stay right under the blood. Where the devil can do me no harm. No harm, no harm, no harm. No harm, no harm, no harm. I'm gonna stay right under the blood. Where the devil can do me no harm. So the blood of Jesus spares you from the wrath of God. Romans 5, 9 says... Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through him. So the wrath of God will never wax hot on us that are born again. Never. The, the, the wrath of God will never be on us. The, and I told you in the, in the other previous classes that the wrath of God means the judgment of God. The anger of God. The indignation of God. The damnation of God. The judgment of God. It will never be on you again. The blood of Jesus Christ. When God sees the blood of Jesus Christ, his dear son. And that you have been soaked in that blood. Washed in that blood. Brother, sister, I want you to know. No judgment will come upon you. You are past judgment. The wrath has been removed from your lives. The Lord bless you and watch over you and thank you so very much. And I want to encourage you to call your friends, to call your brothers and sisters, your friends, to watch this broadcast. This is a great thing I'm telling you. 
in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. Thank you for joining us today. Catch us tomorrow, same time, same place. God bless you.